Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You can always leave a thumbs up, a heart, a rose. Any any interaction with the page really helps. Like, comment, and share. It's free. Let's get to it. Last night, I was watching these clips in regards to the women of uh, Married to Medicine. It's basically saying, OMG, Married to Medicine, Dr. Heavenly, and Sweet Tea shade each other during a live IG. Now, remember, we were just talking about Dr. Jackie about two weeks ago. Did a video on it. Some of her ex-patients spoke out. Dr. Jackie spoke out and gave an apology. The biggest thing is uh, Dr. Jackie spoke out about some women um, and their pain and whether it's truly that situation and some women, you never know what they go through. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what their body is experiencing. If the baby's giving them a hard time, they can't sleep, the baby's kicking, and then they want to take off the next day because it's they haven't got no sleep. So you have to be able to take it with a grain of salt of what mothers go through. It's an experience and it's not easy and everybody's body handles it different some don't get morning sickness some do some don't have a lot of pain some do some are on bed rest so it just depends but patients have spoke out about dr jackie let's get to dr heavenly last night it was a concerning thing when dr heavenly said to her what why are you feeling the way you're feeling are you going through menopause or dot 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 and many people are probably going to say something about this because she had said something about bearing children. I'll be general. And Dr. Heavenly says, I have. I just got out the shower. I'm not feeling well. And, you know, I hear y'all talking about me. So let's get to the clip. Because I'm sure this is going to play out later on. And it's playing out now. So a lot of people were like, first off, the show is airing and they're live fussing and complaining at each other. So I have to stop it, play it, give commentary. Y'all know what it is. So many people are like, wow, we're surprised about Dr. Heavenly because isn't Dr. Heavenly one of the producers? Don't she produce the show? So she can talk to people like this and still work there? So many people were surprised about that. Let's continue. She just said she was going to beat her up. I didn't see that part earlier yesterday. Let's get to the next clip. It's concerning. So, meanwhile, Phaedra is trying to calm them down, and they're just going off. They're going off. They, they're going off. Let's get to the next clip. Got my hair and makeup done. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, 
What happened to it? It would have made us feel a little bit more comfortable on the line. Take your man. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all know no, what it is. No, no, no. Well, I would take some man. I just got out the bathtub, y'all. I wasn't really up for this. I'm not feeling well. But anyway, y'all want to talk about somebody old? You old. You 32 and you look older than all of us. You act older. I can have kids. <gasps> what you want? Let's you're so, you're so ignorant and you put on a white coat every fucking day and don't know what the fuck. I've done it three times. Let me help you. You are not. To me, you are out of here. You are out of here. I wish I would have got my hair and makeup done. So like I said, she said, I can have kids. There's other videos that's out there, her asking her what's going on with her. Well wishes. Married to Medicine has basically taken over for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. People are blogging about it, talking about it. I do different clips, but sometimes these shows, for the reality shows, they don't paint some of these people in a good light. Maybe 20% of it is in a decent light, but other than that, they have them acting like high schoolers going back and forth, talking about each other. I already told y'all, in regards to the reality shows, it's always about lying. Is someone cheating? Is someone having an affair? Are you having financial problems? Are you having problems with the law? And can you get along with people? Them taking trips, them getting intoxicated, the formula. Who, who are you dating? Who did you break up with? Are you getting a divorce? Are you staying happy? That's what the reality shows is based on, about 15 topics. Other than that, it's it's surface level stuff. And it's like these people have families. Sometimes it, it helps their career, but then sometimes it messes with their career because once you get fired from the reality show, what are you going to do afterwards? How are you painted in your community? How are you looked at as, you know, your partner's? How are you looked at? Like right now, Dr. Jackie, patients are calling her out in regards to, there's a few. And then you go on and you check the uh, comments in regards to, you know, four stars, three stars, you know. So Dr. Heavenly basically says she's an open, honest person. She tells the truth. You won't find her. She'll, she'll you know, make a joke about stuff, but. Many people have been questioning Dr. Heavenly. Now, you got to remember, Dr. Heavenly did Fox Soul late last year, what, September, October, November, while Claudia Jordan was gone on, like, a movie set to do a movie, and Dr. Heavenly was on there. She was supposed to be on there for maybe a week or two, or just one week, and she had said something. She was talking about somebody, and if her and either was it her and Al got into a confrontational uh conversation or was it her and funky down even here nor there they let dr heavenly go because it was just too much and people were like oh we're not here for her mouth so well wishes let me know in the comments how you feel about dr heavenly doctor um uh in regards to sweet tea the other lady she was arguing with was sweet tea i don't know if i told y'all that she was arguing with sweet tea sweet tea is married to uh phaedra's no, wait, Sweet Tea is married to Quad's ex-husband. Yeah, Sweet Tea is married to Quad's ex-husband. And there were some, some concerns there, whether he was even should have been brought on the show. So there's just a lot going on. Phaedra is on the show. They're, they said that they was letting her go, but then I guess she came back. I don't know. There was a lot going on there, too. Because I guess Phaedra wanted a lot of money. And then they were basically saying, should they have brought Phaedra Quad on? Did they do that for drama and conflict? Well, wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.